Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the Find Duplicates query to find duplicate records within a table. To create a Find Duplicates query, click the Query Wizard button that appears in the Queries button group called the Other button group in Access 2007 on the Create tab in the ribbon. In the New Query dialog box, select the Find Duplicates Query Wizard and then click the OK button. The first screen of the Find Duplicates Query Wizard allows you to select the table within which you wish to find duplicate records. Make your selection and then click the Next button to continue. In the second screen, you select by which fields you wish to examine the records to look for duplicates. You click on the fields within which you wish to look for duplicate information in the available fields list and then click the right pointing arrow button to move them into the duplicate value fields list. You cannot have more than 10 fields listed in the duplicate value fields list. When you've added the necessary fields, click the next button to continue. In the third screen, you can select any other additional fields that you would like to display in addition to the ones within which you will be searching for duplicate values. You can click on the names of the fields that you want to view in the available fields list and then click the right pointing arrow button to move them into the additional fields list. Then go ahead and click the next button to continue to the last screen. In the last screen, you can type a name for the query into the text box available, and then click the Finish button to view the duplicates in a query result set. Now note that this is not the recommended process for removing duplicate records from a table. This query simply informs you of which records are duplicated within a selected table. While it is possible to delete the displayed records from the Find Duplicates Query result set, you can also remove duplicates using the function of the primary key within a table. If you want to remove duplicates from a table in Access, you can simply right-click on the table from which you wish to remove duplicates in the Navigation pane, and then select the Copy command from the pop-up menu that appears. Then right-click again into the table list in the Navigation pane, and this time choose the Paste command from the pop-up menu that appears. Doing that will cause the Paste Table As dialog box to appear. In this dialog box, type a name of the copy of the table that you're about to make, and then select the Structure Only option within the Paste Options section of this dialog box. Then click the OK button. Next, open the copy of the table structure that you just made in Table Design View. If there are any primary key field assignments that have been made, remove them by selecting the field or fields by which the primary key is assigned, and then clicking the primary key button in the Tools group on the Design tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon to toggle it off. Then select the combination of fields by which you wish to determine if there are duplicates in the original table, and then click the primary key button again to assign the unique combination of values produced by the selected fields as the new primary key. Remember that the purpose of a primary key is to eliminate duplicate values within a table. So once you've selected which fields are going to define duplicate values, click the Save button in the Quick Access Toolbar to save the structural changes that you've made. Then at this point, create an Append query to append the records from the original table that contain the duplicate records into the new table structure.
Now when you run the append query, any records which contain a combined duplicate value in the primary key fields will not be appended into the copy of the table. So you should see an error message that says that a certain number of rows were not appended due to table key violations. Those rows are the duplicate record rows, so you may append the records that were not removed into the copy that you created. Then the copy of the original table should contain duplicate free records. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.